Now let's be honest, Motorcycle was not very good in a meta full of monks and phoenixes, but with those cards now down in the dumps, it's time to bring back Motorcycle and dominate some ladder. Let's get right into it. All right, looks like we are against some sort of bowler matchup. I'm just gonna go ahead and mortar opposite lane here, apply some immediate pressure. This is definitely a balloon deck here. Um, so we're actually just going to absolutely tank for that mortar here. Um, try to get that mortar locked onto the tower, which is the case. Bait out a, a freeze here, and hopefully I can also get myself a king activation. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and do knight here, um, and then tornado that bowler in. Hopefully it hits the king tower. Not quite. Okay, the opponent goes in with a Electro Dragon. That's a rocket value, so I'll definitely take it. Um, it leaves me very vulnerable to a quick push, quick Lumberjack push. Oh, he didn't go in with the balloon. Honestly, well played by him. But anyways, I just wanted to start this episode off with a quick little life update. I know I haven't been uploading as much, uh, and I have a reason, and that is because this is my last semester of college. Um, I'm currently trying very hard not to fail um, I'm pretty much done with college, and I actually graduate next week, which is quite exciting. Um, so hopefully I'll have a lot more time to be making YouTube videos. Um, so hopefully this will be a good opportunity for me to sort of get back into the swing of things to making YouTube videos. Um, but aside from that, hmm, what else is going on that's very exciting in my life? Um, I don't actually, hmm, let me think about this. Uh... Uh, oh, that phoenix is about to spawn. Okay, luckily we froze it. Like I was saying, lots of exciting things happening to me in real life um, these next couple of months. For example, I got myself a full-time job. That's right. I'm actually going to have to move um, to work at this new job, which is a little scary. Um, but let's see here. Um, this is also a little scary. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and NATO all this stuff backwards. Hopefully the phoenix egg dies, but it doesn't, which is all really bad. Um... Let's see, I'm gonna NATO everything over, and I still don't have an activated King Tower, but I think we're gonna be all right here. Um, we're going to go ahead and rocket all this stuff out of the way. Oh, I did just miss everything, which sucks. Um, let's go Mortar here to pull everything backwards. We're ahead on damage, and he has no big spell, so things should be pretty good. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be moving really soon um, to work at this new job, which is very exciting. So just letting you know, in case I continue to not upload as often, um, I'm trying, I'm trying, but, uh, you know, sometimes real life gets in the way, and what can you do? Anyways, as this match wraps up, I'm gonna send in one last rocket. Very nice and comfortable win here against a Lumber Loon deck. Let's start things off with a quick little mortar here, and <laughs> as soon as I say that, we get ourselves a Phoenix deck. You'll love to see it. So Archers to the side, and then Skeletons here. Try to get the uh, ability to go. A Knight here should be able to distract that uh, Mighty Miner. Ice Spirits to the left. This lets us cycle back to a Mortar, which we will play in a bit. Oh, is this Lava Hound? Oh, this might be Lava Hound, which kind of sucks. Um, and it does mean that I have to continue to be super aggressive to start this match off. Let's try to pull that Skeleton Dragon over with the uh, the skeletons, and that does succeed. Mortar is healthily locked onto the tower, and uh, this is looking really, really good, guys. What a great start. Um, we're gonna go Knight here in the center. Um, he's gonna activate the ability most likely, but, uh, or not. Okay, he's just gonna let that Mortar uh, destroy. He doesn't even get the ability off, so no bomb damage either, and I'm just going to immediately reload with a mortar, let's get this tower down right now. Okay, so this is where things are gonna get a little sketchy. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and let's go skeletons here and then try to pull those uh, skeleton dragons over. Okay, very nice. Um, and then, let's see, we're gonna rocket this. Okay, hopefully the balloon dies and then, oh my God. So let's go ahead, double elixir time, get a mortar down here. Um, let's go in with our skeletons here. Okay, um, let's go archers in the middle as well. Try to damage something down here. The skeleton dragons will be a bit of a pain. Um, as long as I can drag them over with the knight, I should be good to go. Um, so knight coming down here. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's just do this. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get some archers down here like so. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this balloon to the king tower. Okay, very nice. Um, we're gonna continue to drag the phoenix. Oh, that didn't work. That did not work. Okay, this is this is not ideal, but uh, we do take down the Lava Hound. The Lava Pups are down, um, so let's go ahead. Just go in the mortar in the center here. Pull that Mighty Miner over. 
Okay, very nice. And then we're just going to log that back, take down the skeletons as well. And this is going to be surprisingly a very, very comfortable win against Lava Hound to start the game off. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be a hog matchup with the uh, the firecracker there. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go skeletons here to tank for that archer, make sure that firecracker dies. And oh, it's a minor matchup. Okay, that's interesting. Luckily, we're able to catch that miner, and I'm going to use that knight on a nice little counter push here with a mortar. Let's tank for like a potential building here. Um, and then oh, it's an earthquake matchup. That's not great, but mortar should get a hit onto the tower. No, well played. Oh, and it's another mortar cycle deck. So I'm just going to actually mortar opposite lane here um, and then go in with an ice spear here to distract the, uh, the mortar. Um, that should be pretty good. Yeah, Mortar is going to take down the Firecracker, so I'm, I can't be really mad about that. But uh, yeah, this is going to be a tough, tough matchup. I'm not really going to be able to outcycle his Earthquake. Uh, so let's just go Mortar here real quick. Um, let's try to get him to go on, uh, with his defensive Mortar here. No, he actually just goes in like this. That's an interesting decision. Um, of course, he is back to another Earthquake, but I am actually outcycling his, uh, I am outcycling his Mortars a little bit. Uh, I think the Mortar is still distracted, so I'm just going to play a defensive Mortar here, which is not the best thing in the world, but he is going to give me some rocket value, so oh my goodness. Uh, I think it hit absolutely nothing. Wow. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> uh, I'm, I apologize for, uh, that rocket. I'm very sorry, and I failed the King activation. What in the world am I doing? I uh, somehow I'm still in the lead because I've got this crazy, crazy OP rocket. But uh, yeah, I do not deserve to be in the lead right now. So I and I play the NATO there. What am I doing? OK, I'm just throwing right now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. Uh, let's log all this out of the way. Um, let's get a uh, ice spirit down to do some distraction work here. And, okay, he misplays the mortar, so I'm just going to go in with a rocket really fast here. Okay, uh, we're going to counter the knight, or sorry, we're going to counter the firecracker first, um, get ourselves a king tower activation. Um, yeah, we should just be able to go skeletons here. Uh, we can just log this out of the way. Okay, there we go. Um, let's quickly cycle to our knights. There we go. And I'm actually just going to tornado that dark goblin forward. Make sure that that mortar is not locking onto the tower at all archers to distract as well this is looking really really good let's go knight as well mortar is still there but we can actually just start rocket cycling i really don't think he's gonna break through here um his his offenses have not been all that good so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead let that knight take down all of those goblins there um and then i should just be able to distract for a little bit here the firecracker is going to almost take down the archers, but yeah, we can just go ahead and log tornado out the, um, just log tornado out the firecrackers. So honestly, not that big of a deal. Um, and then I can just start really going in with the spell cycling here. Rocket coming down here. Let's just try to predict a mortar or a miner, sorry. And we actually do. And we're back to one last rocket. Let's go ahead, send that in. Absolutely destroying this mortar cycle deck. This is not a great matchup, um, I'll tell you that much. And especially since I misplayed the mortar there, that's going to make things a lot more difficult. Um, let's see here. Uh, okay, luckily I can hit absolutely everything with this log, including that firecracker. Um, and that's going to really pay off here. Um, I'm going to have to try to take down that phoenix egg. Oh my god, it survives. Um, uh, that's that's okay, I suppose. Now, Elixir Golem is always a very tricky matchup because it can go really badly if you just make a couple of really bad misplays. Um, that being said, I'm just going to go ahead against Elixir Golem. You just pile all of your troops um, at the very beginning. And uh, yeah, now that arrows are out of cycle, we're just going to log all of this stuff out of the way. Um, and that's going to give me all the Elixir I need to defend this push. Knight here to the side. Um, let's go Archers to take everything down. Okay, um, let's see here. Uh, hopefully we take down the firecracker and we do. And the mortar is just once again locked onto the tower. I mean, this guy cannot seem to understand how the blind range works on this. Um, we're just going to go ahead and cycle back to our log here. Get some elixir back. Electro dragon is not walking into the range of the tower, which is really annoying. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, okay, this is this is not great. Uh, we're just going to NATO everything backwards here. Oh, but... Uh, the, the, okay, that's fine. That's fine. 
Um, we're just going to go in with our Mortar here. That's alright. Yeah, his... The way that the Electro Dragon player wins this matchup is by using his Electro Dragon. Um, that's really the way that... I don't have a great counter to everything, um, which kind of sucks. Um, but with that being said, this should be some very nice spell value here. So I'm just going to go ahead and NATO and rocket all this stuff together. Um, and then following that with a log should be very comfortable here. Um, that being said, okay, he's back to another Elixir Golem. We're just going to go ahead. Archers as well as Skeletons are going to do some very fast damage here. Um, let's just go with a Knight as well. Mm, we're waiting for the Elixir Blobs to get a little lower. Okay, there we go. Um, to get some Elixir back from um, the push here. Okay, um, we're just going to go ahead and freeze everything. Um, let's log this as well. Okay, uh, we're gonna NATO as well. Let's just take the um, take that firecracker off the field. It's honestly the bane of my existence here. Um, and now that his arrows are out of cycle, um, we're gonna be able to take everything down here. Um, knight to tank and then mortar down on offense here. Let's see if we're able to get the lock onto the tower. Uh, okay, we have to rocket this uh, to try to get the lock here. No other choice. Ah. Uh, but this is getting this is getting actually really close here. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is this is getting bad. This is getting really bad. Um, let's see here. Okay, 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 okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. We need to log this out of the way now. Okay. Um, and then at some point we need to start rocket cycling. Um, I really don't have a choice here. Okay, and that's the good chance here. Hopefully it hits the firecracker. Okay, and it does. Oh, that's big. That is that is big. Um, we're just gonna go ahead. And uh, NATO also backwards here um, and get back to a rocket. And that should be GG. And I think we're good. Oh, man, that was I mean, this guy didn't even play this matchup very well. And he almost won this match. I mean, this is absolutely crazy.